Hello, hello, it's Ellie. And really randomly, I decided to go ahead and record uh, dinner one night. Uh, this was not meant to be a voiceover, it's now a voiceover because I'm still having issue with audio just not coming in right. And mostly because there was a lot of white noise and I don't know how to get rid of that. So... I decided to do it as a voiceover. So this is gonna be fun, trying to stay on track with what's happening in the actual video right now. I know at one point soon, I start going kind of over the ingredients that I have. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I just, this was a recipe that I've seen in YouTube videos and I've seen it Googling and stuff and I really wanted to try it. I really was craving tacos, but I didn't really want a taco shell or even a tortilla for a soft taco or a burrito or anything like that. So I'm still going to prepare sort of like the taco ingredients, but it's going to go on to something different. It isn't gonna go into a taco. So I have ground beef, I have um, taco seasoning, sour cream, yum, lettuce, uh, refried beans, um, I have salsa. I'm talking about the salsa, I guess. There's some oil, salt and pepper. I probably didn't use the oil. I don't think I used the oil, but I did use the salt and the pepper. And it's all going to go on top of potatoes. So sort of like a potato, taco, potato, taco, potato. Uh, the middle one is going to end up being mine because the boys eat with their eyes. I have my brother and my boyfriend that live with me, so I give them the bigger sized food so I don't get it. That way I kind of try to cheat myself into thinking I'm eating a little bit less than what I should because I do love food, so I do tend to eat large amounts of it if I'm left on my own. Um, so yeah, so that's what it's going to be. It's all going to go on top of the potato. Um, so that's it. At this point, I'm putting the potatoes or I'm going to be putting the potatoes into the microwave. These are the already prepared, already cleaned uh, and wrapped uh, in plastic wrapped potatoes. So you can get it at any store. They're a huge time saver because you don't have to be standing over the sink, you know, sort of trying to clean a potato as much as possible and then wrapping it yourself and then putting it in the microwave. It's all pretty much done. All you do is pop it in the microwave. Um, and then of course I was trying to figure out how long to put them in there. Cause it's around six minutes of a potato. So it ended up being 15 minutes total for three potatoes. Um, that little tag was the uh, sticker that was on the potato which had the instructions of what to do if you were doing multiple potatoes which I couldn't figure it out at that time I was just gonna put them in there for like eight minutes and see what happened but no they ended up going in there for 15 minutes so that worked out really well um, all right so now what I'm gonna do uh, of course is I'm gonna brown the meat because that's what you have to do you have to cook the meat so that you can eat it um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and throw the meat into a pan and uh start browning it the, the good thing about the potatoes being 15 minutes is that it's pretty much around the time that it took to prepare everything else so that kind of worked out pretty well for me um so there i have the meat in the pan this is my first time working with like a desktop tripod thing so it's gonna be a little bit jiggly and it's gonna be a little bit you know all over the place but i tried to keep it as steady as i could um, here's the meat in the pan i'm gonna be coming back with a spoon to kind of break it up so that it it starts sort of heating up a little bit more i guess a little bit better all over i don't know cooking is not my forte i can do certain things because they're pretty easy you know like pasta's easy 
we have a rice cooker for rice where I also do quinoa because it's just easy it'll just be done correctly last time I tried to do quinoa on the stove top it was very mushy and I was not happy I was really sad because I really wanted it but I ate some of it and I just couldn't stomach the rest of it and nobody else at home really eats any of that so I used the rice cooker to do quinoa that was the whole point of that uh, sidetrack um, beans are pretty easy you just throw them in a pot with some um, vegetable stock or chicken stock or whatever to give it some flavor and then you just season it with other things and it's pretty much it's pretty much done um, chicken I tend to overcook chicken sometimes because I'm afraid that it won't be cooked enough. I still haven't gotten... Uh... Oh yeah, there was me showing a sweet potato because I thought I was going to make this with sweet potato for myself and then I decided, no, I want the russet potato. So that's what I did. Uh, I did end up eating all of those sweet potatoes though, mostly for breakfast or lunch because I really love sweet potatoes. So there we go. They did get eaten. Um, but pretty much as far as cooking, I could do sort of easy stuff. I'm no master cook. I'm no master chef. None of that. Uh, I'm also somewhat messy in the kitchen. Very messy in the kitchen. Uh, I always have to be cleaning around when I remember to do so. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of stuff all over the place. And it just won't, it just, it, it won't be good. Uh, so that's where I'm gonna strain the beef. That's my little workspace. That's pretty much the workspace that I have to be able to sort of prepare things. We live in an apartment. The apartment is not really that tiny. It's not like a small apartment. It's not, um, it's a one bedroom, one bath, you know, just regular. But the kitchen doesn't have that many surfaces for me to be able to prepare things on especially when you have a toaster and a microwave and a uh you know one of these little personal smoothie makers and your coffee maker like literally my microwave and my coffee maker are not even in the kitchen because they don't fit i have sort of like i don't know a buffet style table but not really a buffet style table but i use it for buffet style type things where i have those things on there um in the dining room because i don't have anywhere else to put them and i need my coffee in the mornings so i needed to have a coffee maker um oh, i need a new can opener i remember this much about this this can opener sucks a couple of days after i shot this that can opener actually made its way into the garbage because I had had it with it. It just was not working very well at all. And I still have yet to buy one because I forgot to do so when I went shopping. Even though it was the one thing that I was reminding myself of over and over again. It, it, it is what it is. Um, so here I was just checking on the beef again, just to make sure that it's coming along. Uh, you can kind of see why I'm going to drain it. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all know if you've cooked ground beef that depending on, I guess, the fat content on the beef. I don't remember which one, this, uh, how much the fat content was on this one, but based on that, you know, it'll kind of be sort of like you have to kind of drain it to get some of the grease or the fat out I drain it as much as it wants to drain I don't do you know I don't go in there with paper towels and clean out the the pan afterwards or anything like that like if there's a little bit of fat left in the pan that's fine by me I'm not going to just sort of like you know go haywire over it and make sure that there's nothing at all you know it's it'll just be way too dry uh, in my opinion I don't know it's the opinion of somebody that's not really a cook um, so in this instance, for the taco seasoning, I need three-fourths cup of water. So that's what I'm getting. There's my measuring cup. Yeah. It's actually a pretty small measuring cup, but I don't think it really showed. 
in the video as much as I wanted it to. I should have gotten the big one and then the small one to show you comparison. Uh, but it's a pretty tiny, uh, not that tiny, but it's, it's the smallest measuring cup I've ever had. And I just think it's cute. I don't know. It's a measuring cup. It's not cute, but I think it's cute. So. By the way, don't those refried beans look yum? No, no, they don't. Not when they're in a can. I, they don't. All right, three quarters. We're good to go. Um, but yeah, I love refried beans. I wish that I knew how to make them myself so I could kind of watch, you know, the, the salt content and things like that that I put in there, but it's easier to buy the can. Um, at this point in time, I am desperately trying to open that salsa. I couldn't open it. My brother couldn't open it. And I ended up having to take it to my boyfriend to open it, which he finally did. <laughs> and here's me try giving it to my boyfriend so he could go ahead and open it up for, for me because I really, really wanted salsa. Uh, that's why I bought it, to eat it. Uh, and I know he wanted some too, so it even gave him a bit of issue. We really should buy a uh, a jar opener, just for me, because he can always get them open, but I always have an issue and sometimes he's not home and I have to try to do this myself and I, I sometimes give up. I do, I'm very weak, I'm very weak. Yay! <laughs> All right, back to the kitchen. All right, so the beef has browned, it has been drained, and we're pretty much getting to the point where we're gonna start adding the taco seasoning and the water, uh, just so we can get it all yummy and delicious. Because really the only thing that we have in the pan right now is just beef. And that's it, so there's not much else. Um, I am going to be putting some pepper and salt just because I know with the taco seasoning, um, the one that I got, uh, I've had it before where it doesn't have a lot of that. It has like a lot of everything else. Like what does taco seasoning have? Garlic powder and onion powder, I guess, and all the other things. But I kind of add a little bit extra on certain things just because just to bring the flavors out a little bit more. So there goes the pepper. I really love pepper. So I'm adding quite a bit of it as you can tell. And then a little bit of salt, not too much. Uh, I don't want to over season it. I do have a tendency of going too overboard with the salt. So just add a little bit and then have everything else in there, taste it afterwards and see if it needs more. I do add some garlic powder, because I like garlic too. And one of the things that I have bought uh, recently uh, before this video was onion powder. Now I have had onion powder before, I've cooked with onion powder before. I do like onions. I don't necessarily like raw onions. I like them cooked down enough but I didn't have any and I did want sort of like the oniony flavor in here so I did uh, have the onion powder so I added that in I do like the flavor it gives sometimes in the mornings for my breakfast my eggs I'll kind of add a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder kind of cut through the egg smell um, not that I don't like eggs, I do, but sometimes if it's really early and I'm craving them, my stomach is like, ew, eggs, why so early? So just to kind of combat that, I add some flavorings to it. And those are like two of my favorite things to add on there. Um, or cheese. Sometimes I do cheese. Cheesy eggs. I like them. Um, so right here. Ooh, doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> Listen, I never said that refried beans uh, looked good. They are canned. <laughs> like the ones I have are canned. So they're going to come out looking a little bit rough. 
but they just take a little while. You just gotta heat them up. Uh, you know, make sure you don't burn them because they can burn pretty easily, but... Or maybe that's just me. I've burned them before. Oh, there we go! Clumsy. <laughs> hey, I picked it up, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, but for the refried beans, we're just gonna let them sort of like do their own thing. They're just gonna warm up. There's really no instructions on them because they're pretty much, they're already cooked. Just kind of need to warm them through. Um, and they'll be a little bit less um, pasty <laughs> in the way that it looks. So, ooh, here goes the taco seasoning and the water. And then you just kind of bring that to a boil, um, which happens pretty quickly since the pan's already pretty hot. Uh, but you kind of bring that to a boil and then you simmer it for a couple of minutes, I think around five minutes or so, just to kind of thicken it up a little bit, I guess, and get all of those flavors incorporated in there. So that was really good, by the way. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed the whole entire thing. I really loved the entire uh, dish. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So we're just gonna let the beef do its thing. Meanwhile, I'm also uh, starting to stir the refried beans. I just lowered the temperature on the beef so that it's now simmering and it'll just go ahead and thicken up and I'm just gonna leave it on there. Uh, give it a little juice and just leave it on there. And then I am, you can't tell, but I'm messing with the beans. Ooh, awesome camera work, yeah? All right, so there you can see I've been stirring the beans, now I'm stirring the beef. By this point, the potatoes are done and the microwave's been hollering at me nonstop because I haven't taken them out. But I'm busy preparing everything else. So, yeah. This is when I was gonna take them out with my little uh, fox mitten <laughs> that I have, fox cooking mitt that I have. Um, they were really hot, obviously, because they were wrapped in plastic so they could steam. So, yeah, I went over without anything, tried to pick it up with my hands. Obviously that didn't work, so I came back with the mitts. And there they are, yay! We're getting to the good part. We're getting to the, stop stirring the beans and get to the good part. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting frustrated with myself. Just having a little tasty taste here make sure that they're seasoned well and they were actually really really good i just thought they needed just a little bit of salt not too much just a little bit so that's what i added here more stirring can we get to the good part here all right here's the good part my turn at this point i've already served my boyfriend and my brother their food the, like i said the kitchen is very small i don't like there to be too many people because it's just too crowded so i just do one person at a time but this is me this is gonna be for me so of course big knife a little bit too big i could have used something else but I just really wanted to get the potato out of the plastic and start really preparing everything because I was so hungry by this point. And I really did this for me. The other two just benefited from it. That's pretty much what happened here. So I just kind of cut the potato open. I did uh, two more slices on the sides and then kind of pushed it in so that it could like open up. And then, enough with the sweet potato. We didn't use sweet potato here. Put it back, put it back. <laughs> At this point, it is still steaming. I just opened it up, so it is really hot. So protecting my hands. So I kind of push it in just to kind of open it up and give myself a work area to put everything else in. 
And then this is where it happens. Oh my god, yes. Look at the mess. <laughs> so, like you just saw, there's pretty much everything that I had is in here. We got the cheese, we got the lettuce, we got the salsa, we got the sour cream, we got the potato underneath. We have everything in here, the refried beans. And I did take a, a taste of it. And... Unfortunately, you don't get that audio, but it was moan worthy. It was so good. Just watching this again and having to talk about it is making me really crave it so much. But I am out of potatoes. All of the potatoes are gone. I ate them all. I'm gonna have to go to the store, buy more potatoes, Buy a couple more ingredients because I am out of a couple of these things already and do this again even if it's just for me and then the boys can have theirs in an actual taco shell or tortilla or whatever they want but this was glorious anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I don't know is, is this like a cooking vlog or something can we call it that let's just call it a little cooking vlog thing that I did um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time <laughs>